Welcome everyone to the SDRL Hot Wheels Cup Series Season 2 Race 22 at Dover International Speedway, a one mile high banked concrete oval. This is the last race on a concrete surface this season. And what can we expect today? Well, here are a couple things I think we can expect based on the two events so far this weekend and last season. So I think number one is I think we will be in for a lot of cautions. And don't be surprised if we expect a caution after caution situation, especially if we have restarts where we have lap traffic restarting on, on the inside that most likely will be slower traffic and because the bottom lane is so important everyone's go going to, to, to be fighting for the bottom and I think that it will really bunch up the field and I think it, it can lead us to some big wrecks. Also another thing, we could be in for um, a, a lot of lead changes. The Domino's Pizza Trucks event had a total of four lead changes but the way those cars were, not cars, the way those trucks were, were bunched up we could have easily had, had like eight or ten and I think that we could see uh, the same thing today, today, but I think it really just, just depends on who has the strongest car. Another thing we can also expect is trouble spots. I mentioned crashes, and, and it seems like that uh, the straightaways, which aren't normally the the trouble spots compared to most uh, of the tracks we go to, I think the straightaways are, are the trouble spots because um, they're narrower than the corners, and whatever goes down usually comes 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 right back up. And especially if we have a lot of three and four wide action, well, I don't know if we're actually going to see four wide, but I think that definitely if we if we get some three wide action, uh, watch out. And also look out for the seven drivers that are in the championship picture because after last week's race at All Club, the two drivers. That were at, at the top of the points and it looked like that they were that they were just going to sail away from the field had their struggles. But Bubba Buchanan got involved in the first crash and, and he finished I think outside the top 35. And Car Sinclair, who could have who who could have gone a top 10 midway through the race, he had an engine failure. He would finish outside the top 30. And what that allowed was and and what that allowed for is, is that Ariane Parks, Cody Hagen, Abe Troxell, Isaac Nichols, and, and Tornier all closed in on them and now it's a seven man race for the title. But to me, depending on depending on how things go, Bubba Buchanan and Carson Clark could might uh, lose or things could return to the Bubba Buchanan and Car Sinclair show that we have seen the past few the past few weeks. I really don't know. And speaking of Auto Club, that race was a pretty wild race, but then the last several laps they went green flag and Austin Kennedy, who I think led the first like 24, 25 laps out of that 30 lap event, it looked, it looked like that he was easily going to get his third career victory. He he also broke the streak uh, for a different pole winner every race. He became the first two time pole winner. But anyway, it looked like that he, it looked like that he, that he was going to win the race, and then and then all of a sudden here comes Aiden Saunders in the number 11. A Aiden Saunders. Gets passed on the white flag, but then, but then on the back stretch, Aiden Saunders did the crossover, entering turns three and four, side by side. Austin Candy, he, he gets a bit of momentum, but but it's too late. Aiden Saunders wins in a photo finish, and we and we could possibly see the same thing today. It's not as likely, but it is possible. And anyway, now let's get these cars rolling off for a total of 60 laps. A couple of last notes before this race starts. So the winner is season to go. Jonathan Skevnicki, Peyton Keys won the truck race. Phil Goldberg won the American Ethanol Series race so far this weekend. And if you would, and if you're curious to see where the seven drivers in the in the championship picture start from first to seven points, I will uh, say their starting positions: 15th, 17th, 25th, 42nd, 7th, 37th, 33rd. And here is and here is the rest of the starting lineup. And uh, on the front row, we have Riley Smith and Payne Keys. Riley Smith becomes the 21st different pole winner in 22 races. And, and overall, I think that things are, are about to get very interesting. Next week, next week we, we, head, we head to Talladega. And while I think that one will be a wild card, I think that Dover could be just as, could be just as much of a, wild, of a wild card, if not even more, than, than Talladega. Anyway, coming out to number four, Riley Smith Hank, he's leads to the green flag, and wow, Riley Smith, he, he got a great restart. 
and that, and, and that's going to allow Dean Orton to, to take second. Blank, he's into third place. Elgin Mills is really high, along with Andrew Gorman. And down the back stretch, or, or, down the back stretch, I think that it might. I don't know. I don't know if, if it's true or not. I don't know if it is true or not. But but, but I believe. I believe that at the corners might actually be be um, sh 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 longer than th th the struggles here. Oh, and we got caution. Yep, I, ha I have a feeling so. It involves Garrett Sonor, Lisa Gonzalez, Biff Crafton, Jacob Jacob Reed. Garrett Sonor, it, it, it looks like he has the worst of it. His damage might be done. Biff Crafton in the three has damage. Frankie Reed also has damage. And Andrew Gorman, th th that, that's that's the price you pay for, for starting last. His no, nah, it's not Andrew Gorman. It's Cody Hagen. Uh, oh, I guess another question here. It, it involves two more of the drivers in the picture: Isaac Nichols and Torin Dieter. So, so we had two crashes on the front stretch. And, and this and this is already looking a lot like the, the truck race where I believe almost every single crash ha happened on the front stretch, but I, I don't exactly remember. And Riley Smith, he continues to lead. Let's take a look and see what happened. This is what happened. So, coming out of turn number four, the groove all of a sudden narrowed, and, and, and then eventually all three drivers they pushed each other. Jim Kelly and Lisa Gonzalez made contact, and, and then we had and, and then we had a glitch right there. And behind them, you can see Jake Abri, Andrew Gorman, Garrett Snow all making contact, and we're gonna and we're gonna ha have to go be behind all this to see what happened. So it looks like that Andrew Brandt and Jacob Reed did make some contact, and that might have launched Garrett Snow into the outside wall. Yeah, I, yeah, I think that uh, that is what happened. Garrett Snow hits the inside wall, back up in front of Jacob Reed. Alan Souza had nowhere to go. So, um, the Crafton had nowhere to go, and I think. Cody Hagen, he gets his damage when he hits Garrett Sinner. Yep, yep, I was correct. And I think Cliff Cannon actually stopped just in time. But then what happened on the front stretch? Um, Torn Dieter. Uh, oh, wh wh where's Isaac Nichols? Isaac Nichols, where is he? Oh! Oh, Torn Dieter, he, he gets hooked by a camera blicker here into the outside wall, and oh, Isaac Nichols just had nowhere to go. It's already, this is not what drivers, for, if you were Cody Hagen, Isaac Nichols, Torn Dieter, this is not what you needed, because last week, because of the struggles of Bubba Buchanan and, because of the struggles of Bubba Buchanan and Car Sinclair, you basically got yourselves back up into the picture, and basically, uh, you, you needed to really t take advantage of the opportunity you got and the lucky break you got. And I think mainly due, due to qualifying, that bad qualifying, it got them in that position. And now it looks like that all three drivers' cha cha championship hopes are probably done. Why do I think Garrettson got the worst of it? Well, I think it's because he hit the wall or got hit more than anyone else. Andrew Gorman was in the wrong place. Isaac Nichols missed the first one, but not the next one. And now we're going to fast forward this. After all of that, Isaac Nichols is the only driver that will be out of the race. But, 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 but I believe we do have a, have a couple of drivers that are. Oh wait a second, what's wrong with Cameron Gaunton? Ah, 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 that that's a shame. He, he was gonna restart a place, but it looks like Alex something ha happened to you. Maybe, maybe, maybe it was an engine failure or something. But, 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 but that's uh, that's a tough break. He has yet to win the season, and it looks like that that streak of not winning will continue. Anyway, Riley Smith. Uh, continues to lead, but anyway, I am not feeling good about Frankie Reed at all, especially with how slow he is. The first 
I, I, I think that's the first seven drivers are going to clear here, but, but, but here comes William Bedford, here comes Justin Galapas. This, this is what I was talking about. One driver that, that I didn't mention that got involved in that last crash was Car Sinclair, but, but looks like I like, looks like it, the damage isn't really affecting him that much. But, 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 he, but he's in the middle of a mess right, right now. A mess that, that needs to get itself sorted out just in time. But anyway, Frankie Reed, he's, he's really holding up Bubba Buchanan. Oh! Contact! Contact! Oh, there we go! Bubba Buchanan around! Uh, up in the air! LJ Bill's involved! Kendall Maynor! Clip Buchanan sneaks through the melee. Oh my goodness. Frankie Reed went for a wild ride. His day is definitely over. And Bubba Buchanan, the points leader! Ah. Oh. And, 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 and in the meantime, our new leader is now... It, 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 it is now Blaine Keys. Cameron Gallantin, he is back on, on the racetrack. I, I think Torn Deer, it, 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 I think Torn Deer's day is done. Is Charles Bunn heading he, 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 No. But anyway, I saw Cameron Gallantin, so he did get back on, on the racetrack. And, racetrack, and with this caution, and, and with this caution, and, and, and with many drivers that are probably going to DNF, DNF I, I mean, look at this here. Look at, all, look at all the drivers that are marked one left down. Chances are, all of these drivers could be out of the race. I don't know why I'm thinking of this, but, but for some reason, a quote I have to describe this crash is, if I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. And while and while, and while I don't think that it was Bubba Buchanan's intention to wreck himself and, and take out many others, I felt like Bubba Buchanan was, was maybe getting a bit impatient. Because look at this, Bubba Buchanan had all of this room to get by Frankie Reed, but Frank, and the thing is, Frankie Reed, it, it wasn't like he went down the racetrack, but Bubba Buchanan, he just kind of got, got into him. And I feel like a, a Bubba Can could have a giver here, but anyway, look at the wild ride the, the Bubba Can takes. LJ Mills has nowhere to go. Kendall Maynor has nowhere to go. Cody Higgins gets damaged, but but Frankie Reed took also to, also took, took a very wild ride. And behind them, Torin Dieter gets gets into. Um, I, I, might, I might as well show that. Torin Dieter coming in with a lot of speed. Does not slow down in time. Hits Lisa Gonzalez. Yeah, and, and I think that's why his day his day will, will be over. Along, along, along with many other drivers. Last week, he won in a spectacular photo finish. This week, he pretty much has nowhere to go, and it looks like his day will be over. Aiden Saunders. Actually, the damage, the damage wasn't as... Uh, serious as, as, as I thought it was, but to me, it might be a, a, enough nose damage to make, make him fall a lot down. Let's go on board Bobby Buchanan, as this is not going to be a fun ride. One driver that is happy to see this crash happen, Carter Sinclair. Second in points, five points behind Bubba Buchanan. He already did it once, now he just did it again. Let's go on board Clint Buchanan. Everyone from Cameron Blake to Frankie Reed is now officially out of the race, or they were involved in the crash and they are now out of the race. Isaac Nichols, he, he was, was involved in, in a crash on the first lap, and now we have three drivers restarting on the inside, so... Don't, don't, be, don't be too surprised if, if this is a theme throughout the rest of the race, but already we are not even a quarter of the way th through the race, and... And we already have some pretty big storylines. How will the rest of the field survive? This could be a survival race. And already, I, I, I cannot tell. I cannot tell who's holding the field. It's probably. Uh, it, it, I, I think it's probably LJ Mills. By, by, by the looks of it. In the meantime, here, so on the back stretch, this is this is. I think I think the reason why everyone fans out on the straightaways is, is because this is the best time to, to make a pass. LJ Mills now now goes up to the high side. Oh. Cameron Gallantin in, in, in a really in a really bad, bad position. Whoa, whoa! Elton Mills, he, he he got going. 
but, 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 but this field is still is still bunched up two and three wide th throughout th throughout throughout this part of, of the field, and, I, and I'm still not feeling good about this. Oh well, are we on Parks Charles Belding? Okay, that was close. And in the meantime, right here, the, these top several drivers they, they've actually been able to pull away for the rest of the field. Um, and by top several, I, I think more specifically top seven. But watch out here, O'Neill Bowman, Charles Belding make contact down to Andrew, Andrew Brandt. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go again. Matt Hosh is up against the wall. Is anyone going to hit him? Oh, O'Neill Bowman, a, a ton of damage. Issa Gonzalez, Biff Crafton, Jacob Breed, Andrew Gorman got a piece of it. Now let's see, are, are they going to be able to avoid this? Oh, watch out, Andrew Gorman. I don't know if Kevin Saunders got it to the back of Andrew Gorman, did he? D doesn't look doesn't look like it. But 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 that was but, but, but that was close. So once again, an air crash. This actually happened uh, later than what I expected, especially when you have a slower lot of traffic of LJ Mills, and, uh, O'Neill Balvin, and Cameron Gallanton, and while. And while that didn't, and while those two drivers didn't really exactly cause the crash, it did definitely cause the field to get more to get more bunched up than usual. O'Neill Balvin was kind of in the way, and I guess Charles Billing got a little, got a little impatient. They hook down in, down into Matt Hosh because Matt Hosh goes for a spin. Andrew Brandt goes into the inside wall, pretty good. And then right here, um, I'm not gonna show what happened to Matt Hosh, Hosh because the crash actually got big when O'Neill Balvin came right up on the surface. Jacob Reed had nowhere to go. Garrett Sinner got some damage. Uh, Cliff Crafton barely got through this. Actually, no, actually, no, he didn't. And behind them, yep. So that's this crash. And let's see if we can go on board anyone else. A season Jacob Reed will definitely want to forget. Alan Souza got involved in the first crash that brought out the first caution, and he almost got involved in the next two. I showed this flyby yesterday, and I'll show it again. Just before we showed you a, re a replay, this happened to our leader, Blaine Keys. So he's leading, and then all of a sudden the engine expires. Blaine Keys, who has led the majority lap so far today, with that engine failure, he will be out of the race. So such a so such a shame for, for him. And I thought, and I really thought he could have gone his first career victory. And now that's all going to be out of the picture. Better luck next time. The only new addition to the garage, I believe, is O'Neill Balvin, and Blaine Keys will, will be there shortly, or, or he is already, but the scoring ha but hasn't shown yet on the scoring. And now, Riley Smith, who, 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 who I believe led the first two laps, or actually hasn't l led a green flag, who hasn't led a green flag lap, I believe, leads us back to the green flag, again. let's see, how will, these, how will this lap traffic get in the way of the field now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. LJ Mills. It, it seems like LJ Mills cannot get up to speed. It, it seems like that. It, it seems like that. It takes a few laps for, for his for, for his car to really get to really get, get going. And fortunately, that causes like drivers like uh, Dale Scott and Panky to, to get held up. But LJ Mills, he keeps out of the way, and there are four wider here. You better watch out. But but what looks like a, but. but, but but it looks like a, but it looks like it, but it looks like a, the Alger Mills actually might, actually, actually might, might be able to get out of the way unless they wreck behind him by themselves. Car Sinclair, Conor and Charles Bell on is made, but, but, they, but they all save it. And now, and, and actually, and actually now, and actually now, our, our new leader is now the, the 18 of, of Kevin Saunders and, and Cameron Gallantin. I, I, I think if he stays, I think if he stays right there, he will be able to get his lap back. But we're, we're, we're going to keep on watching Elgin Mills because I'm not feeling good about this at all.
Okay, it looks like that. All he has to do is damage oil. So as long as damage oil doesn't do any, doesn't do anything stupid, he should be able to get by him. Whoa, whoa. Okay. So Cameron Gauntlet is on lap is on, is on lap number twenty four. Kevin Saunders is on, is on lap twenty five. But Cameron Gauntlet he he is now on the tail end of the lead lap. So if it, so if a caution does come out right now. It, it, and if he doesn't get involved in the caution, he will be able to, to restart uh, on, the, on the tail end of the lap and then start passing cars. So now, so now, Riley Smith now trails Kevin Saunders. Kevin Saunders has yet to win a race this season, but actually, th these past several these past several weeks, I actually have seen a little bit a little bit more speed. I think that he I think that he's already mathematically out of, of the championship. I I may be I might be incorrect on, I might be incorrect on this, but. But but, but 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 so far, uh, he 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 is having a good day. And these top four here, be, because of Elton Mills, the these top four have separated themselves from from, from, the, from the rest of the field. Dean Orr might might lose the to Abe Troxel, and he will. Um, Dale Scott, Payne, Keys, Nick Smith, all, all trying all trying to catch up. Where is Carson Clare? Carson Clare, he's around 15 spot. And, and the way things are right now, I think Carson Clare will def will will definitely be our points leader. Unless something, unless something really bad happens to him, and, and he gets, an, and he gets another poor finish. And I gotta say, I think, I think, I think at this point in the race, we, we, we might possibly uh, get ourselves a long, a, a long green flag run. It, it, it just, it just depends on how aggressive a, a, a one of his drivers might get, such as Riley Smith, who for a moment there, I thought my, who I thought was going to, to take the. The lead away from Kevin Saunders, but 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 then got out of the throttle. And, and in the meantime, it looks like Cameron Gallanton is actually able to is, is actually able to pull away. So I think to me, I think this really shows that if Cameron Gallanton did not have the issue, he might he might have been someone that that could be fight that could be fight that could be fighting for the lead rather rather than fighting to stay on the lead lap. And behind them, I saw Riley Smith. I, I he was trying to make a move. And in the meantime. Dean Orton and, and Aatroxel have, have actually closed back in just a little bit. Nick Smith are here. I, I think. I, I think. I think. I think. It's several laps from now. Nick Smith might be able. To, might, might be able to catch these first four drivers. And now Dean Orton. It, it looks like. It looks like maybe all Dean Orton needs is a long run because all of a sudden, it, it looked like that he it looked like that he was going to be able. Look like that he was going to lose. Dirty Abe Troxel, and now and now he's pulling away from Abe, and now he's pulling away from Abe Troxel, and now he's actually helping Riley Smith, I believe, to get the lead away. Most of the field is a single file at this point, and now look at this: battle for second. D. Warren takes a, takes away second spot from Riley Smith. Kevin Saunders continues to lead, and actually, because they, because they went side by side, it allowed Kevin Saunders to actually uh, pull away just a little bit. A Abe Troxell might, 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 might be able to take away uh, throw, for, throw from Riley Smith, but, but before that can happen, here we go, side by side for the lead. Riley Smith under Dean Orton, and, and the more and the more these drivers are side by side, the, the easier it, it, it's just going to be, be for, for Kevin Saunders to take away this win. Dean Warren holds on to second place. And 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 now and now as I sort of go, and now as, as I sort of go, go through this field, I, I might as well give the me I might as well give the middle of the pack some uh, camera time. And, and one of those drivers is, is Matt Hodges in the 25, the Cam Valley winner. Overall, the, his season, it's not really been that strong a, a, of a season. And he, and he is one of the, se the seven drivers, I, I believe, that is at risk of being mathematically eliminated. Another driver that is also at risk, Johnny Mills. But the way both of these drivers are running, uh, it, it looks like that they will be mathematically eliminated. Daniel Boyle's in the one, the Daytona 500 winner, but really has not... Really shown that many strong runs. It's kind of been up and down since then. Car Sinclair has actually has actually been dropping back a, a few positions. But but it looks like like the way things are right now, in order for in, in order in order for driver in order for, for driver like Abe Troxell to take away this points lead, points lead, he would have to finish more than 20 spots ahead of Car Sinclair, and and he's fourth. Car Sinclair is I think ninth. Not 9th, 19th. 
18th. Yeah, so, um, so, 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 Aatrox, so if, if Aatrox wants to take away this points lead, he's going to have to gain a couple more spots and hope that Carson Clare loses, loses a couple more spots. But, 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 but I think, but I think that Carson Clare has, has a very comfortable distance over, um, in his pack over, over, over the pack behind him, which has Johnny Mills and Matt Hoshkiss, etc. Where is where is Ariana Parks? She she's she's definitely she's definitely having a much more, more better day. In the way in the way things are right now, she would definitely close in a little on Carson Sinclair. She's eighth. Actually, Ariana Parks might actually take take away this points lead if Carson Sinclair if Ariana Parks needs to finish more than ten spots ahead of Carson Sinclair in order for, in order for Ariana Parks to to, to take away uh, in order for her to take away to take this points lead. And in the meantime. Kevin Saunders continues to lead. He, he he he's been able to. He hasn't he hasn't really he, he hasn't pulled away from second place that much. But but, but, but there is now a pretty s decent distance between him and Dean Orin. Rastif is in third. Abe Troxel in fourth. Nick Smith is starting to catch uh, these four drivers. And looks like that. And, and looks like that. Unless we have another caution, it, it, it is going to be one one of these five drivers. Here comes Rastif. Well, if he, 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 he take a look. He tried to, to go inside. D or and closes, shuts the door. Uh, l l l let's see. So, so, so when I look at, so when I look at the, so entering this weekend, when I look at the championship picture overall, Bobby Can is out of the race. Tornadier, <laughs> Tornadier. I think Tornadier is also out. Yep, yep, he is. So is Isaac Nichols, Cody Hagen in, in, in the 22. He's 24. Not, not, not that great. Not, not that great of a day for him. Uh, All around Parks is in the top 10. Uh, Abe Troxell is, is currently in the top five. Is currently, is currently in the top five. And Car Sinclair is is around 20th. So not exactly the best day for our seven drivers, but. but but, 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 but for some of them, it, it, it is going to be a good day. Riley Smith had second for a moment, but but then Dean Orrin looked look back inside, and here comes Abe Troxell, maybe, maybe, maybe looking to steal. Three wide here, all the contact is made! Uh, and Dean Orrin up, up on the outside wall, down across the race track, into Nick Smith, Aria Parks, whoa! The caution is, the caution will come out. And, and, and Dean Orrin, who... And Dean Orn, who was running in the second in the, in the second position, that's all going to go away. And now we have another, and now we have another caution. So this is gonna be interesting. It will be it will be with less than ten laps to go, I believe. So I think that these drivers will not have to worry about uh, LJ Mills on the inside holding up the field. But this is not what Kevin Saunders wanted wanted to see. It, because if because if we had stayed green the rest of the way, Kevin Saunders probably would have easily ha had taken this thing away. But now, but but now everyone behind Kevin Saunders has another chance. And, and I think one thing, and I think one thing is definitely certain: Dean Orton is not going to be very happy about that. Before I show Dean Orton spinning and how it happened, let's take a look at I think the lap and a half before that. So, so Riley Smith looked to the inside of Dean Orton, and then right here, and then right here, a half a lap later, Dean Orton um, does the crossover, and then, and then goes and then goes underneath Riley Smith. And, and then, and, the, and then down the back stretch, Abe Troxell, Abe Troxell gets a good run on Dean Orton, and so Dean Orton, he he now he now, he now has to worry about Riley Smith and Abe Troxell, and Dean Orton was did not get off turn number two as well. It held up Abe Troxell. Nick Smith got a good run in turn number three into Abe Troxell, who, who then got into Dean Orton, and so and so really the blame on that really should be Nick Smith. And look at that, just until obviously he did get a piece of it, and I don't know. And I don't know how that damage is going to affect his car. Riley Smith, not Riley Smith. Ariana oh, yeah, Parks in the five. Really, that might that that might that might have just saved her championship hopes right there. If we had stayed green the rest of the way, I don't think that Dean Warren was going to win. But it could have been a nice solid finish, and it could have been a good enough finish for him to keep his slim championship hopes alive. But well, with this crash, it's gonna take all of that right out of the picture. Ariana Parks barely missing Dean Orin, I think, not only kept her championship hopes alive, but also it might help her take away the points lead. Mm -hmm. 
as if we didn't have enough drama. Once again, a scoring error. Now, recently, we did have a scoring error in, a, in an American Ethanol Series event at Nashville Super Speedway. And that and that's why and that's why it's only showing the top seven and it's currently hold, and it's currently holding up Club Craft and Lisa Gonzalez, Andrew Gorman, uh, the Craft and Garrett Sinor. And now the rest of the field is gonna is gonna have to, is going to have to try to catch up just in time. But but man, this is really I I don't I don't really know what officials I don't really know what officials are doing what they are doing. It's a really bad and risky idea. But anyway, with just 10 laps to go, the green flag is out at Dover. Will, will there be another caution? And will anyone be, be able to challenge Kevin Saunders? Kevin Saunders just pulls away. And Clubcraft, he, he's currently in the way uh, of Justin Talampas. Here comes Dale Scott to the inside, Ariana Parks. But, but Craft is also in the way. Kevin Gallant is now once again a lap down. Dean Orton is also in the way. Oh, yeah, this is not good at all. Here, and there we go, another crash behind them. Clip it, clip it can around. Right in front of Car Sinclair and only Bedford, yeah. This is probably all, yeah, this is probably all due to that, this is probably all due due to that strange uh, scoring error. And, and it looks like that, it looks like that for, for William Bedford and maybe a couple other drivers, it looks like that their day will be over. But, well, let's take a look. Kevin Sars does, uh, he, he will lead, lead us back under caution, but the thing is, we still will have at least one more restart, or or, or this or this upcoming restart will actually be the final restart of the day because because once a caution because if another caution comes after this final restart, then the race is over. So here's what I think happened: Luke Walker in the 42 slides up in front of Clint Buchanan. Those two make contact and then they go into the wall, collecting Garrettson and Austin Kennedy with them. William Bedford hits Clint Buchanan down into the inside wall, but look at Carson Clare in the nine. He did get a piece of it. Oh, I, I'm watching the, I'm watching the, the wrong driver. Uh, Daniel Boyles gets got some damage. Connor Breen got some damage, and I think behind them, Matt Hoshkiss and Jim Kelly hooked together. No, Jim Kelly actually hit, hit, the, hit the outside wall down into Matt Hoshkiss. Yeah, okay, yeah. So that's what happened, actually. And now. Let's go on board some more drivers. It has definitely been an eventful day for Carson Sinclair, and because he did get involved in this, he might not be our points leader. I don't think Johnny Mills is going to be able to keep himself from being mathematically eliminated from the title. He has had some pretty good wreck avoidances today. Before we get the green flag, and hopefully we will be able to finish this race under green flag. Before we get the green flag, and hopefully this race will end under green. Here is the running order as of right now. So you might need to pause the video. And and Kevin Saunders in the 18. He has been the most dominant driver up to date. But with this restart, I think it all depends on how great of a restart gets. Gates gets and oh my gosh, Justin Thomas in the 27. He 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 has some problems here. Oh no, Justin Thalampas. Ah, that, that 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 that's a shame. But anyway, Kevin Thomas he, he did not get as great of a restart as he, as he did the past two times. And, and look and look at who's on his bumper. Riley Smith in the 43. Here comes Abe Trocasel in the 17. He's trying to get his first group win. Nick Smith also trying to get a win as well. He is also yet to win. Ariane Parks and Dale Scott trying to clear Club Crafton, and the caution is out. The race is over, and Kevin Sars will be our winner. Why is the caution out? It is because of Justin Holabas. Ah, that's not gonna be a very po that that ah uh, that's not gonna be a, a, a very popular reason to, to throw out a caution and end this race. Yeah, something yeah something was wrong with with Justin Delapas, and I guess because he's and I guess because he stopped on the racetrack and decided to not go down the road. The caution, that's why the caution came came out. And actually, let's take a, a replay and see if we can hear and maybe figure out what happened. Once again, another scoring error. I I believe I believe after this race, it should really only be 22 drivers on the lead lap, so not. Uh, so not 12, but here's the running orders. So basically, um, I'm gonna talk about I'm gonna talk about the championship. Oh yeah, about Justin Palumbas, I decided that it's not really worth showing a replay. I just think that all I really ha all I have left to say is I just felt like that it was not it was I, I felt like that it was kind of stupid to not to decide not to come down 
pit road, pit road and just sort of stay on the racetrack. I, I mean, to me, his team has to know that that there was a problem. But anyway, so entering the weekend, it was it, it was it was a there were seven drivers that have mathematical shot of winning this championship, and possibly while 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 it's still while it's still. And who knows? It, it still could be a seven-man race mathematically, but I think that, but, but I think that, but I think that realistically, it has now the, the the tables have been turned in favor of Carter Sinclair, Ariel Parks, and Abe, Abe Troxell. Out of the seven drivers, they were the, they were the three best finishers, and because Ariel Parks and Abe Troxell were able to finish behind Carter Sinclair, they were able to close on in. And Ariana Parks, she, she was not able to finish more than 10 spots ahead of Carter Sinclair, so she will not be the points leader. And Abe Troxell, he, he did not finish more than 20 spots ahead of Carter Sinclair, so he will also not be our points leader. So our points leader will still be Carter Sinclair, but uh, the margin well, the margin will not be as big. And I believe that and I believe that and I believe that with, with Bubba Buchanan, Torn Dieter, and, and, Isaac, and Isaac Nichols all finishing outside the top 37 I think it's going to take them all out of the championship picture or, or, or just simply out of the realistic chance of winning the championship I'll, I'll, I'll just leave it there but who knows but, but but who knows because next week we head to Talladega Talladega is sometimes considered to be the ultimate wild card and I, and I, and I think it will be but that's pretty much all I really have, have left to say and yep that's pretty much it thank you everyone be sure to rate comment subscribe and bye congrats to kevin saunders on your first career victory